If you haven't checked out this last video that I did on this car port, watch that after this video. The first thing I need to do in order to build this fence slash gate is order some materials. I got some expanded metal sheets, 2x2 two two and, and half by half a square tubing in 24 foot segments. Alright, so I moved everything over here and it will span between these three poles, each one its own gate with an internal uh, door in one of the gates. Now just to cut all of these into their own sections. All right, so I just have the last two 24 footers left. Um, I'm gonna be uh, measuring those to fit because I'm not exactly sure the dimensions, but the rest I've cut into six foot segments so that I'll have an equal height across the whole fence slash gate. I've also cut out the door so that we'll have a, a door within one of the gates so that we can go into the backyard without having to swing open the, the huge gate. Now what I have to do is just weld them up and uh, get that uh, expanded steel plate to uh, to fit, cutting it down, and then we'll go from there. So these are the hinges that I'm going to be using. They're feel fairly bulky. I could have gone bigger, but I think that having at least three of these to swing the big door open and two of them to swing the, uh, the regular door open will be enough. I do want to drill a few holes in each one of these sides just to be able to get another weld in there and secure it a little bit more uh, just to just to go overboard a bit instead of just welding around the border. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill out these holes and uh, then we can start putting the pieces together. Alright so I am just doing a, a two-step to drill it out using uh, some one and a uh, three and one oil, uh, so that I don't burn out my bits. All right, so I've got the small section all welded up. Nice and sturdy there. Now for the other the gates. Now these gates I'm going to be doing slightly different. I've, I've clamped them up with, a, with enough space for uh, the hinge and for it to move. I'm going to be building these mostly in place. I'll take them down for a few things but I'm going to be building it in place so that it fits perfectly. Yeah. I'm going to be leveling it out, welding it up. And so it may not be perfectly square, but it'll fit the space because of the spacing between the top may not be as you know precise as the bottom and it'll be the exact same measurement. So I'm just going to do each piece individually and I think it'll look good. All right, so here we are the next morning. A couple of the bars are, are a little wonky, but I'll be able to fix that when I put on the uh, expanded metal. But yeah. So far, the uh, one of the hardest things was figuring out how I was going to uh, get this expanded metal sheet up because it's really heavy and awkward and what I a solution I came up so I could do it without help was just some ratchet straps that I was able to use to kind of hoist it up there now I just have to adjust it and tack it and then I can get the ratchet straps out of the way and and uh, weld it all up and I'll be done with uh, that side 
All right, got all the uh, bars straightened out. And uh, there it goes. My kids in the background. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, so here's where I'm going to have the door. This is just going to be one other gate. You can see how it hinges in two places. Alright, so I've got most of the uh, the poles up, I've tacked them on one side, I need to go back in, straighten them out a little bit, tack them more. I've also added a, a little lock mechanism and a handle so that uh, we can open it from this side. Uh, yeah, almost there. Alright, so here's how the gate works. You can reach through from the back to unlock it. And now the dog won't be able to get out. Uh oh! 